Graham Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. He's it's, it's underrated. I think Ruiz is, is not of anti Joshua's level. I think realistically, I'm not going to try and kid you and fool you say it's going to be it's going to be a close fight. I think it's about levels. You look at the side, you feel far too sharp. Uh, 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 the shots that, that Ruiz will walk into are perfect for anti Joshua because he's a good inside fighter as well. The power that he's got is second to none. So I personally think I'd be very surprised if we went past six rounds. Really surprised. Who would you have liked to have seen him fight once? Um, Miller dropped out? Well, it's, it's very hard because of obviously the, the, the top three are, are Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury or Dylan White. Now, now, unfortunately, with such short notice, uh, to get a top uh, fighter where he's going to get respect and not get criticised for, there's none around. Uh, Ortiz, I wouldn't take Ortiz at short notice. It's never in a million years. Uh, if you're going to fight Ortiz, you've got to have time to prepare for uh, um, uh, Dillian White, that, that, was, that was always questionable if that was going to happen, and that's a big fight down the line. He's just in a tough, tough situation. Ruiz, you've got to give him respect. He, he's fight fit, so therefore he's not as so he just walked out of him. He had no idea. So now he's going to go in there and got to give it his all. The only guy he's lost to is uh, with Joseph Parker, and he gave him a good run for his money uh, on home turf. And so, uh, you know, he's got to make, pick the best of a bad bunch. I feel for Anthony Joshua because the public are going to give him a hard time Regardless, win. if he wins quick, they're going to say, yeah, the guy stepped in at short notice. If he goes the distance, they're going to say, you couldn't get rid of this guy, look at the shape of him. They don't get it. But, but realistically, how many, how many of the general public knew who Gerald Miller was before, before he pulled out? or before the fight came about. They were coming to watch Anthony Joshua, and that's still the same thing, but now we've given them something to complain about. Yeah, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who he, who he fights. People nah. are still going to come. How will Joshua? Uh, well, I'm so they theoretically, you're in the same place, Gadget. You're in your prime. You're right, pulled in, in lastminute.com. Well, how how do, do you do it? Ding ding round one. Nelson runs out. What? Kicks him in the balls. He bends down. <laughs> Boom! Back on the back of the head. No, <laughs> come on. We're, <laughs> we're, in, <laughs> we're in the boxing ring. How do you do it? How does anybody do it? You've got to try and put him on the back foot. You've got to try and put him on the back foot. You've got to rush him. You look at, look at how, how Dylan White showed how you could put him under pressure. A little bit, but you've got to be consistent with it. You've got to be confident with it. You've got to be able to, to bully him. But Anthony Joshua, he's in his prime. Physically strong, what a stature, what a reach, and he's getting better. So if I was any of the big boys out there, I'd box him now. What, are we on 22 fights? You know, I'd box him now before he's a fully fledged, fully rounded individual. He still says I'm not the finished article. You know, I'm Do you believe that? Do, do you think he can get better? I do believe he can get better, and, 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 and he knows that as well. Because it's not just about what you do in the ring physically, it's about mentally being, uh, you've got to go through experiences to get wisdom, and that's what he's doing. He's going through the first time, this has happened where he's boxing in New York. He's got an opponent that's, that, that's, that's, that's new to him. You know, he's got to deal with this sort of stuff. So you'll get better once that's right, it matches physically, I think. It'll be all right down the line as long as he keeps winning. What do you think about his training camp having been in Miami? Do you think there's a lot of distractions with that? There's pretty girls, there's nice weather, there's all these distractions, which for me, it's not a good thing, but I don't know how he is personally. Can he, can he stay away from that? Do you think it's an unnecessary distraction? Did he need to come to America for the I, training camp, the full well, training camp? Should he stay of England, in England? So I personally think, number one, you come to America, you, you want to make sure you're climatised, time-wise, you're not tired. It's got to be like... We're, we're only in New York. It's yeah, five hours I, difference. I that, but you got, you, we're very superstitious as fighters, so we think, I want to do it right. Number two, he's thinking, you know what? I'm going to train out there. Let me just see what somebody's like. Sheffield, the reason why Anthony comes to Sheffield is because there's no distractions. There's nothing to do. And that works. That's what fighters need. They can't exactly. have distractions. Exactly, it works. But I've been down to Miami, and, I, and, and when I go down there, I think, oh, my God, I wish I came here. I wish I trained here. Yeah. Nigel Ben used to train there. The beaches are great to run on. The weather's good. The food's good. The, 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 the surrounds are good. If you've got a good training camp and you just stay, you don't have to step in a nightclub life. You don't have to, the, to be on the yacht. You don't have to live that life, but it'll be the perfect place to train if you're professional enough to do that. So without, as long as he stayed away from the distractions, it'll have been a help, not a hindrance. Yeah, and, and with the responsibility that he's got on his shoulders, I don't think he's stupid enough to make that mistake. 
uh, and there's big fights on the horizon there. Remember, Muhammad Ali used to reign down there, uh, and, and so it can be done. And uh, so I think Josh is one of the few fighters that is capable of, of, of just putting it into a compartment. Okay, lastly, prediction. You've said you don't think it's going to go about six rounds. You early, early, just massive knockout. I think Ruiz walks into a shot. Uh, three, uh, even if it was inside three rounds, I wouldn't be surprised. I hope Anthony Joshua just doesn't try to hold him up and put a show on. I think Anthony Joshua should do what he's going to do and get rid of him. Okay. She was. Thank he was good. <laughs> you want to take over from his job? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Thank you. Signing out. Peace. William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep.